Hey guys, I am Gautam and welcome to GKMix. So in this video, I am going to talk about the IIT JAM uh, chemistry examinations program choices. Okay, I will, I will be talking about that. That means uh, in this application form, you have to submit your choices, your preference, preference of IITs. Okay, and that would be like, uh, how can you, how, what will be your choices and what will be your first choice, what will be your second choice, everything. Okay. So you can fill your choices like that in that way so that uh, you can you, you get the best IITs based on your rank. Okay, but before I start, uh, th I, I want to thank you Giriraj who gave me his account to make these kinds of video and thank you so much Giriraj. Okay, so let's talk about the program choices. So I have already filled the choices and I, I will be talking about these in such a way so that uh, I can make my opinion okay I can uh, share with you my opinion what I uh, do what I would do if I, uh, I I am a student like I want to go to IITs and uh, I am a jam qualified student and what I did during my preparation during my form filter process okay so that I want to share with you and based on my experience that in these two years okay I have experienced a lot of things so based on that I will I will tell you that what will be your what should be your program choices okay but you can uh, choose your own of course but if you all know but whoever are not quite sure and whoever uh, don't know uh, whatever are not familiar with a lot of informations okay so that will be helpful for them okay this video will be helpful for them i will be i will be sharing a lot of informations regarding a lot of institutes like placement facilities research facilities a lot of things so in the first choices first seven choices you know already Okay, so, so the first choice, of course, no matter what you have to, you can select IIT Bombay. Okay, then the second choice and these choices will be based on the best IIT's ranking. Okay, the sec first choice will be the IIT Bombay MSc Chemistry. This is a two years program. Similarly, second choice will be IIT Kanpur. Third choice will be IIT Delhi. So these three, you can, uh, you can keep this constant. Okay, first three choices. The fourth choice and fifth choice. You can choose uh, to you have two options one is research second is placement facility in iit kgp you will have much more and better placement facility than iit madras and in iit madras i think you will get some kind of higher research facility than iit kgp so whatever you like you can uh, select this option based on their uh, based on this two facts okay but uh, the variation is not that much that means uh, in iit kgp research facility is also good if you can go to for abroad you can have a lot of uh, computational facility everything but i am just telling about i am just comparing in these two institutes so this is based for placement this is based for uh, research facilities so based on your interest you can select uh, you can take you can keep this in number four or number five okay then coming to IIT Roorkee, that will be in number 6, okay, and then coming to IIT Guwahati, that will be number 7, then, then coming to new IITs, that means the IITs which are, uh, which are uh, established or formed or started 10 or 11, 12 years ago, okay, so in these new IITs, IIT Hyderabad is the best IIT, okay, so select in the 8th position IIT Hyderabad, so in between, among the new IITs, IIT Hyderabad is the best, okay, then select IIT Bhubaneswar, joint msc phd chemistry so in you can uh, you can see that in iit kgp and in iit bbs you will have options that is joint msc phd in chemistry so you can ask that uh, this is joint that means it's, it's integrated no in there is a difference between joint and integrated integrated means you have to do their your phd over there okay along with the msc but joint doesn't mean that Do joint means you have to do your msc after that if you are interested you can go to you can get the get admitted into the phd program okay without net examination okay there is some certain conditions like you have to have cgpa 8.2 like things okay if you have that much cgpa then you can easily get into uh, get, join the join for phd without net examination net examination okay net get examination so this is joined okay but you can leave easily leave after two years with your placement okay so i am in iit kgp and i am in this in this uh department in this uh program so i know in this course so i know of course that uh this is the exact difference between joint and uh integrated program okay so uh, don't be don't get hesitated okay because joint doesn't mean integrated you don't need to do phd over here okay so joint doesn't joint means you can live easily after phd okay after msc sorry okay so in the 10 position you can select iit indoor so indoor is quite good among the new iits but it, it will be after the iit uh 
Hyderabad or Bhubaneswar. So you can keep indoor in ninth position also. Then coming to IIT Gandhinagar, then uh, coming to IIT Varanasi. Okay, this is also quite good. Then, then if I am a student and I know about this department, okay, this department is quite good. Believe me, you will have at least 30 professors in these departments. So you can join this department. Okay, this is IIT, uh, IIT Bombay Energy Science and Engineering Department. So you can uh, do a lot of research in this department based on your energy research, for example, uh, solar cell, photovoltaic cell, then uh, nuclear energy research, then um, bioenergy research, everything, every kind of energy research. Even you can uh, go to abroad after your MSc. Okay, uh, in you can and you can continue your research on, uh, of course, uh, material science. So that's why this department is quite good. Okay, so believe me, I have uh, I have gone in that institute. Okay. And I have seen the department. This is a very good department. Even you can choose this department in the after uh, IIT Guwahati. If you are interested in this kind of research, if you are interested in uh, energy research, photovoltaic cell, solar cell, uh, then battery research, electrochemistry like things, okay, then you can easily select that one. But I am not uh, doing that because if you are interested in chemistry, then you can choose this option here or you can choose the choose this option in the last okay but i will suggest if you are interested if you are interested in inorganic chemistry if you are interested in material science research research electrochemistry like things energy energy research okay this department is quite good it what happened uh, till last year you have to uh, you have to attend an interview after that you can join uh, you could join that institute but from this year you can directly join the institute okay join this uh, course without having any interview so this is great if you are getting that just go for that i, I will suggest you then iit ism dhanbad so ism iit ism that means uh, iit dhanbad whatever this institute has a problem that's why i uh, did i don't recommend this institute because in this institute if you check the number of professors and their uh, uh, certain you know uh, um, subjects okay their topics most of most of the professors are on inorganic chemistry and basically on catalysis inorganic catalysis like things some are from physical and very less from uh, organic and physical okay so that's why i didn't don't recommend this institute okay this is very old institute but it get uh, it got iit tag two or three years ago okay so i don't recommend this institute but if you're interested you can do that okay because this you can check the num faculty and their and their subjects their topics okay their research uh, uh, research areas okay then you can choose this one then uh, then you can uh, select anything based on your uh, interest okay that means iit patna that i am selecting iit patna that means that that is because of that it is founded uh, it is found uh, 10 or 12 years ago okay that's why then you can select anything that is iit ropar jodhpur vilai mandi palakkad Tirupati, okay, these are all new IITs, so those are, you cannot expect very good facilities over here, but this has got the IIT tag, so that means you will have that tag also. So, if you are some, if some of you are interested in environmental science in IIT Bombay, you can join this institute also. This is quite good. Your future will be secured and remember, here it is dual degree. And in this case, in energy science and engineering department, this is also in dual degree. Dual degree means you can leave the institute after uh, at least six years okay but some cases you can uh, do your phd from abroad uh, in that case you can leave the institute after two years okay they will uh, provide you the facility i have talked about talked with one uh, senior who has who is doing his phd in israel okay this is in a very good institute after uh, he has he is from physics and he is doing his phd from israel and uh, th that's quite good institute and uh, he's, he, he told me that he, the institute the department is quite good and I even uh, gone in that uh, have gone in that institute and I have seen all the facilities okay so I know that this de in department is quite good so dual means you know uh, you can leave after uh, seven years if you are doing PhD over there okay and one more thing during your MSc you will get 8000 per month scholarship or fellowship this is quite good because this is a dual degree so during msc you will have uh, 8000 per month fellowship and uh, then after that you will get a fellowship like as uh, as per csir norms okay that means 35000 or 30000 per month that is quite 
according to GRF rules or CSR rules, whatever. Okay. So during MSc, you will have fellowship, but in other institutes, you will not you will not get the fellowship except one thousand per month. That is that is also some kind of you know other things. Okay, so next you can choose IIT KGP Nuclear Medicine. This is a quite new department. One year ago, this has been added. So I won't recommend the, this one. And this department is also good. It's, if someone want to, someone have interest in, has interest in uh, atmospheric science and ocean sciences. That means if someone want to want to uh, study about uh, meteorology, then uh, atmospheric science, oceanographic sciences. Okay, atmospheric engineering. Then this department is quite good, and you can leave after the the problem of the of this department is after leaving uh, two years. Okay, uh, you you want you can get placement, you can get job, or you want to get any kind of that. So it may be necessary that you uh, have to do your PhD after your MSc. Okay, so that's why I am I have uh, kept these department these courses in the last option. But if, if you are interested to do MSc and PhD, you can choose this one also. But this should be a uh, rough case that most of the students should choose like this way until you uh, want to uh, go to any particular IIT or like that. Okay. Uh, and one more thing I I want to share with you uh, on this joint MSc PhD in chemistry in IIT Bhubaneswar and IIT Kharagpur. Uh, in this institute in MSc, you should get five thousand per month fellowship, but they won't give that one. This is because that uh, if you do that, uh, if you uh, provide this fellowship right now during your MSc per month five thousand, then after MSc you can join you join the for the PhD or you can you uh, you may leave the institute. Okay, so you will have you will get all the money that means five thousand per month that is one lakh twenty thousand rupees after two years. That uh, I think that is a quite huge amount amount of money. So if you uh, join the institute for PhD. Okay, after your MSc, if you join the institute for PhD, instantly you will get that amount of money in your bank account. Okay, because they didn't provide you in your MSc because the condition is you have to do your PhD. But if you want to leave the institute, for example, I haven't taken th this money. Okay, and I I am not eligible because I am not doing PhD over here. Okay, I am not doing PhD over here. So that that means I won't get this amount of money. But if you are interested and if you want to do PhD over here, you will definitely get one lakh twenty thousand instantly after your MSc. Whenever you are you are taking admission in this institute, right? So this is what uh, every information I have provided you in all the uh, about all the institution, and uh, this is how you can fill your programs. Okay, you, you can fill your choices courses. So I think this will help you a lot. Okay, to make uh, to make right choices, and that's all about this video. Thank you. Thanks for watching.